Buenas noches. So now take a moment to bow our heads for a few moments to recollect and quiet our minds, body, and spirit as we remember the past 40 days that prepared us for the Easter Triduum we began last Thursday and yesterday when we experienced truly the immense gift of the life of the Son for our lives. So also remember those who are not able to celebrate the Easter Vigil because of war, of violence, and any other circumstance, that what we celebrate here in faith may the light in our hearts resonate to those who are in need of the light. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, dear friends, on this most sacred night in which our Lord Jesus Christ passed over from death to life, the Church calls upon her sons and daughters scattered throughout the world to come together to watch and pray. If we keep the memorial of the Lord's Paschal Solemnity in this way, listening to His Word and celebrating His mysteries, then we shall have the sure hope of sharing His triumph over death and living with Him in God. Let us pray. O God, who through your Son bestowed upon the faithful the fire of your glory, sanctify this new fire of your glory. This new fire we pray and grant that by these Paschal celebrations we may be so inflamed with heavenly desires that with our minds made pure, we may attain festivities of an ending splendor through Christ our Lord. Amen. We share in the light of your glory to your Son, the light of the world. Make this new fire holy and inflame us with new hope. Christ, yesterday and today. The beginning and the end. The Alpha and the Omega. All time belongs to Him 
and all the ages. To Him be glory and power through every age and forever. Amen. By His holy and glorious wounds, may Christ the Lord guard us And protect us. Amen. Amen. Dispel the darkness of our hearts and minds. Candle is lit. You're welcome to go into the church, both through the main doors and the doors on the side. Yeah, actually, I'm gonna until the whole church is, and we'll go in. So you can actually relax, but so you'll get trampled. <laughs>
the altar? Yeah. You can then. No. Um, it's fun that my people would incense the. Yeah, Father Martin should be incense the. And, and no incense in the altar, right? No incense in the altar, just no. incense the Easter gift. Him. Not me. So I'll be Lumen Christi, gracias. Kathleen. Lumen Christi, Deo gracias. Lumen Christi, Deo gracias. Exalt, let them exalt the hosts of heaven. Exalt, let angel ministers of God exalt 
Let the trumpet of salvation sound aloud our mighty King's triumph. Be glad, let earth be glad as glory floods her, ablaze with light from her eternal King. Let all corners of the earth be glad, knowing end and to gloom and darkness. Rejoice, let Mother Church also rejoice, arrayed with the lightning of his glory. Let this holy building shake with joy, filled with the mighty voices of the peoples. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, with ardent love of mind and heart, and with devoted service of our voice, to acclaim our God invisible, the Almighty Father and Jesus Christ, our Lord, his Son, his only begotten, who for our sake paid Adam's debt to the eternal Father, and pouring out his own dear blood, wiped clean the record of our ancient sinfulness. These, then, are the feasts of Passover, in which is slain the Lamb, the one true Lamb, whose blood anoints the doorposts of believers. This is the night when once you led our forebears Israel's children from slavery in Egypt and made them pass dry shod through the Red Sea. This is the night that with a pillar of fire banished the darkness of sin. This is the night that even now throughout the world sets Christian believers apart from worldly vices and from the gloom of sin, leading them to grace and joining them to his holy ones. This is the night when Christ broke the prison bars of death and rose victorious from the underworld. Our birth would have been no gain had we not been redeemed. Oh, wonder of your humble care for us, O oh, love, O oh, charity beyond all telling, to ransom a slave, you gave away your son. O oh, truly necessary sin of Adam, destroyed completely by the death of Christ. O oh, happy fall, that earns so great, so glorious a Redeemer. The sanctifying power of this night, 
dispels wickedness, washes faults away, restores innocence to the fallen, and joy to mourners. Oh, truly blessed night, when things of heaven are wed to those of earth, and divine to the human. On this, your night of grace, O Holy Father, accept this candle, a solemn offering, the work of bees and of your servants' hands, an evening sacrifice of praise, this gift from your most holy church. Therefore, O Lord, we pray you that this candle, hallowed to the honor of your name, may persevere undimmed to overcome the darkness of this night. Receive it as a pleasing fragrance and let it mingle with the lights of heaven. May this flame be found still burning by the morning star, the one morning star who never sets, Christ your Son, who coming back from death's domain has shed his peaceful light on humanity and lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please extinguish your candles. Now that we have begun our solemn vigil, let us listen with quiet hearts to the Word of God. Let us meditate on how God in times past saved His people. And in this, the last days, has sent His Son, our Redeemer. Let us pray that our God may complete this Paschal work of salvation by the fullness of redemption. Entense, por favor. Please be seated. Lectura del libro del Génesis. En el principio creó Dios el cielo y la tierra, y dijo Dios, hagamos al hombre a nuestra imagen y semejanza, que domine los peces del mar, las aves del cielo, los animales domésticos y los reptiles de la tierra. Y creó Dios al hombre a su imagen. A imagen de Dios lo creó. Hombre y mujer lo creó. Y los bendijo Dios y les dijo, Creced, multiplicaos, llenad la tierra y sometedla. Dominad los peces del mar, las aves del cielo, los vivientes que se mueven sobre la tierra. Y dijo Dios, mirad, os entrego todas las hierbas que engendran semillas sobre la faz de la tierra, y todos los árboles frutales que engendran semilla os servirá de alimento, y todas las fieras de la tierra a todas las aves del cielo, a todos los reptiles de la tierra, 
a todo ser que respira la hierba verde le servirá de alimento y así fue vio Dios todo lo que había hecho y era muy bueno palabra de Dios el amas Señor Let us all stand to pray. Y dijo Dios, mirad, os entrego todas las herbias que entre engendran semilla sobre la faz de la tierra, y todos los árboles frutales en engendran semilla os servirán de alimento. Y a todas las fieras de la tierra, a todas las aves del cielo, a todos los reptiles de la tierra, a todo ser que respira, la herbia verde le servirá de alimento. Así fue. Vio todo lo que había hecho y era muy bueno. Dios nuestro, que de un modo admirable nos creaste a tu imagen y semejanza, de un modo más admirable todavía 
no remediste, concédenos sabiduría de espíritu para resistir los atractivos del pecado y poder llegar así a los gozos del cielo. Por eso Cristo nuestro Señor. Amén. Pagbasa mula sa aklat ng Genesis. Noong mga araw na iyon, sinubok ng Diyos si Abraham. Tinawag siya ng Diyos at tumugon naman siya. Sinabi sa kanya, Isama mo ang pinakamamahal mong nasi- anak na si Isaac at magpunta kayo sa lupain ng Moria. Umakyat kayo sa bundok na ituturo ko sa iyo at ihandog mo siya sa akin. Pagsapit nila sa dakong itinuro ng Diyos, gumawa ng dambana si Abraham. Inayos niya sa ibabaw nito ang panggatong at inihiga si Isaac, matapos gapusin. Nang, saksakin, nang sasaksakin na niya ang bata, tinawag siya ng anghel ng Panginoon at mula sa langit ay sinabi, Abraham, Abraham, Huwag mong patayin ang bata. Huwag mo siyang saktan na ipakita mo nang handa kang sumunod sa Diyos. Sapagkat hindi mo ipinagkait sa Kanya ang kaisa-isa at pinakamamahal mong anak. Paglingon niya ay may nakita siyang isang lalaking tupa na ang mga sungay ay napasabit sa mga sanga ng kahoy. Ito ang kinuha ni Abraham at inihandog kapalit ng kanyang anak. Mula sa langit, nagsalitang muli kay Abraham ang anghel ng Panginoon. Wika nito, Akong Panginoon ang nangangako sa iyo, yamang hindi mo ipinagkait sa akin ang kaisa-isa mong anak, pagpapalain kita, ang lahi mo'y magiging sindami ng bituin sa langit at ang buhangin sa dagat. Lulupigin nila ang mga lungsod ng kanilang mga kaaway sa pamamagitan ng iyong lahi. Pagpapalain ang lahat ng bansa sa daigdig sapagkat ikaw ay tumalima sa akin. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God.
God, Supreme Father of the faithful, who increase the children of your promise by pouring out the grace of adoption throughout the whole world, and who through the Paschal mystery make your servant Abraham father of nations, as once you swore, grant, we pray, that your people may enter worthily into the grace to which you call them. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord said to Moses, why are you crying out to me? Tell the Israelites to go forward and you lift up your staff and with a hand outstretched over the sea, split the sea in two that the Israelites may pass through it on dry land. But I will make the Egyptians so obstinate that they will go in after them. Then I will receive glory through Pharaoh and all his army, his chariots and charioteers. The Egyptians shall know that I am the Lord when I receive glory through Pharaoh and his chariots and charioteers. The angel of God, who had been leading Israel's camp, now moved and went around behind them. The column of the cloud also, leaving the front, took up its place behind them, so that it came between the camp of the Egyptians and that of Israel. But the cloud now became dark, and thus the night passed without the rival camps coming any closer together all night long. Then Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and the Lord swept the sea with a strong east wind throughout the night, and so turned it into dry land. When the water was thus divided, the Israelites marched into the midst of the sea on dry land, with the water like a wall to their right and to their left. The Egyptians followed in pursuit all Pharaoh's horses and chariots and charioteers went after them, right into the midst of the sea. In the night watch, just before dawn, the Lord cast through the column of the fiery cloud upon the Egyptian force a glance that threw it into a panic, and he, and he so clogged their chariot wheels that they could hardly drive. With that, the Egyptians sounded the retreat before Israel because the Lord was fighting for them against the Egyptians. Then the Lord told Moses, stretch out your hand over the sea that the water may flow back upon the Egyptians, upon their chariots and their charioteers. So Moses stretched out his hand over the sea and at dawn, the sea flowed back into its normal depth. The Egyptians were fleeing head on toward the sea when the Lord hurled them into its midst. As the water flowed back, it covered the chariots and the charioteers of Pharaoh's whole army, which had followed the Israelites into the sea. Not a single one of them escaped. But the Israelites had marched on dry land through the midst of the sea with the water like a wall to their right and to their left. Thus, the Lord saved Israel on that day from the power of the Egyptians. When Israel saw the Egyptians lying dead on the seashore and beheld the great power that the Lord had shown against the Egyptians, they feared the Lord and believed in him and in his servant Moses. Then Moses and the Israelites sang this song to the Lord I will sing to the Lord, for he is gloriously triumphant, horse 
and chariot he has cast into the sea. whose ancient wonders remain undeemed in splendor even in our day, for what you once bestowed on a single people, freeing them from Pharaoh's persecution by the power of your right hand, now you bring about as the salvation of the nations through the waters of rebirth. Grant, we pray, that the whole world may become children of Abraham and inherit the dignity of Israel's birthright. Through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Let us pray. O God, who make this most sacred night radiant with the glory of the Lord's resurrection, stir up in your church a spirit of adoption, so that renewed in body and mind we may render you undivided service. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Lectura de la Carta de, la, de San Pablo a los romanos. Hermanos, los que por el bautismo nos incorporamos a Cristo, fuimos incorporados a su muerte. Por el bautismo fuimos sepultados con él en la muerte, para que así como Cristo fue resucitado dentro de los muertos por la gloria del Padre, Así también nosotros andemos en una vida nueva. Porque si nuestra existencia está unida a Él, en una muerte como la suya, lo estará también en una resurrección como la suya. Comprendamos que nuestra vieja condición ha sido crucificada con Cristo, quedando destruida nuestra personalidad de pecadores y nosotros, libres de la esclavitud del pecado. Por tanto, si hemos muerto con Cristo, creemos que también viviremos con Él. Pues sabemos que Cristo, un haber resucitado de entre los muertos, ya no muere más. La muerte ya no tiene dominio sobre él. Porque su morir fue en morir al pecado de una vez para siempre. Y su vivir es un vivir para Dios. Lo mismo vosotros, consideraos muertos al pecado. Y vivimos para Dios en Cristo Jesús, nuestro Señor. Palabra de Dios. Te amamos, Señor.
is rejected has become the cornerstone. Why the Lord has this been done is wonderful in our eyes. Hallelujah, 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 reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. At daybreak, on the first day of the week, the woman who had come from Galilee with Jesus took spices they had prepared and went to the tomb. They found the stone rolled away from the tomb, but when they entered, they did not find the body of the Lord Jesus. While they were puzzling over this, behold, two men in dazzling garments appeared to them. They were terrified and bowed their faces to the ground. They said to them, why do you seek the living one among the dead? He is not here, but he has been raised. Remember what he said to you while he was still in Galilee, that the Son of Man must be handed over to sinners, be crucified, and rise on the third day. And they remembered his words. Then they returned from the tomb and announced all these things to the eleven and to all the others. The women were Mary Magdalene, Jonah, and Mary, the mother of James. The others who accompanied them also told this to the apostles. But their story seemed like nonsense, and they did not believe them. But Peter got up and ran to the tomb, bent down, and saw the burial clothes alone. Then he went home amazed at what had happened. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus I know Christ. I I'm Happy Easter! Happy Easter! Felices Pascuas. Felices Pascuas! Let's give a round of applause to our Lord Jesus Christ, who today broke the prison bars of death and rose from the underworld to a new life. He is victorious. He is risen. Hallelujah! I say you have the Easter joy in your hearts. During this past Holy Week, we have been journeying with Jesus in his final days and in his last moments on this earth, from Palm Sunday all the way to Easter Sunday. Del Domingo de Ramos hasta el Domingo de la Resurrección, el Domingo de la Pascua. I'd like to take a brief moment to just 
touch on each of these days to see the significance and the meaning el significado de estos días on palm sunday jesus enters into the holy city of jerusalem do you remember what he was riding on a colt a donkey right and the people shouted and they cried out hosanna hosanna to the son of david blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest by the way we sing this in the mass don't we do you remember those words i wonder if uh, the choir can help me out in my homily a little bit uh today the choir you guys will be singing the holy right yes can you guys sing that for us right now <laughs> holy holy look out of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord hosanna hosanna in the highest hosanna hosanna in the highest you guys get 10 out of 10. Yeah. <laughs> those words that we see in the mass welcoming the presence of jesus those same words the jewish people cried out hosanna to the son of david and what were they holding in their hands palms palms are a sign of victory the victor king has come and do you remember what they laid on the ground before jesus as he was coming in on the donkey their cloaks to give him welcome to give him homage he's the son of david he's the great king now the son of david was expected to be a military ruler because king david was a military ruler they thought jesus was going to come in use his military might and overthrow the romans so that the jewish people could be freed from slavery to the romans but was that what jesus came to do no he did not come to free them from slavery to the romans he came to free them from a much deeper slavery the slavery to to sin he came to free them from slavery to sin and el domingo de ramos jesus entró en su ciudad de jerusalén con gritos con palmas con ramos la gente gritaba oh san el cielo bendito el que viene en el nombre del señor estaba esperando un rey que iba a liberarlos de la esclavitud de los romanos pero él no vino para liberar a ellos de los esclavitud de los romanos sino del pecado we have another homilist here that wants to give a homily instead of me right now <laughs> he came to free them from slavery to the romans on palm sunday this is what jesus came to do to free from slavery to sin now let's fast forward to holy thursday on holy thursday jesus washed the feet of his disciples and if you were here on thursday you saw father thomas go around the pews washing their feet of the people that were chosen for holy thursday so even father thomas has to serve you see he has to serve and he's washed the people's feet and then he also jesus on that same day gave the eucharist his body and blood to eat and drink and he established the priesthood on that same day this is what he did on holy thursday and el jueves santo jesus lavaba los pies de sus discípulos y les enseñaba a servir y no para ser servidos también nosotros tenemos que servir y no ser servidos ese mismo día nos dio la eucaristía su cuerpo su sangre para comer y beber y también nos dio el sacerdocio el padre tomás y yo somos fruto de lo que jesús hizo en el jueves santo nos dio el sacerdocio para celebrar la santa misa para que pudiéramos tener la eucaristía para comer y beber now i'd like to uh, go a little bit deeper into holy thursday because i think it's going to shed a little more light into what we're doing today on easter sunday in ancient times in the old testament the jewish people would take an animal a lamb a goat a calf and they would symbolically place their sins 
on the goat and the calf or the lamb, and what would they do to that animal? They would slaughter it. They would sacrifice the animal. And that act of sacrifice was saying that what happens to this animal should actually be happening to me. I'm the one who sinned. But instead, we're going to symbolically place our sins on this animal. We're going to sacrifice the animal. And that goat, that lamb, takes my place. It's going to die in my place. And that's where we get the term scapegoat from. The goat takes my place. It's the scapegoat. It takes my place. It dies instead of me. Now, the ritual did not end with the sacrifice of the lamb or the goat. After the sacrifice, the priest would take the blood of the animal. And what would he do with that blood, do you know? He would sprinkle it. Where would he sprinkle it? He would sprinkle it on the people. And he would sprinkle it on the altar. And he would sprinkle it on the doorposts of the homes. Now for the Jewish people, blood meant life. So the life that they had lost through sin was restored to them through the sprinkling of the blood of the animal. But there's still one more step. The most important step in this sacrifice. After the sacrifice of the animal, after the sprinkling of the blood, what do they do with the lamb? Do you know? After the sacrifice, after the sprinkling, what did they do with the lamb? Did they throw it in the trash can? They, what did they do? They ate of it. They ate of the flesh of the lamb. Does that sound familiar at all? Eating the flesh of the lamb? On Holy Thursday, Jesus says, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. What's Jesus saying there? He's saying, I am the Lamb. I am the Lamb that's going to be sacrificed. You will place your sins on me. I will take your place. The innocent for the guilty. I'll be the scapegoat. I'll die instead of you. Now just as the Jewish people sprinkled the blood of the Lamb and then ate of its flesh, in baptism, you are sprinkled or washed with the blood of the Lamb and life is restored back to us. And in the Eucharist, we eat of the flesh of the Lamb. And the ritual is complete. When the Lamb is sacrificed, when the blood is sprinkled, when the Lamb is eaten, our sins are forgiven, and life is restored back to us. That's what Jesus did, the Lamb of God. In el Viernes Santo, Jesús es el Cordero de Dios que fue sacrificado. Nosotros, como los judíos, ponemos nuestros pecados sobre Jesús. Nos sacrificamos en la cruz. Y en el bautismo estamos lavados con su sangre. En la comunión comemos de su cuerpo. Como los judíos que comían su cuerpo, también nosotros y recibimos la fuerza que viene de esa comunión. Finally, we come to Friday, Viernes Santo, Good Friday, which we celebrated yesterday. The lamb is finally sacrificed. We heard from the reading, Abraham, he takes his son Isaac, the wood and the altar. This was just a prefigurement of the cross of Christ who is hung on the wood of the cross and is sacrificed. Do you remember when Jesus was hung on the, clo- the cross and the soldier pierced his side? What came out of his side? Blood and water. Saint uh, John Chrysostom, who is a very famous saint in the church, says that this water and blood that comes out of the side of Christ represents two things. Do you know what it represents? Who here knows? It represents baptism and the Eucharist. The water representing the waters of baptism and the Eucharist coming out of the side of Christ. But he says there's a deeper meaning. 
You go back to the book of Genesis. Remember the creation of Adam and Eve. Where did Eve come out of from, from Adam? From his, from his side. And St. John in Chrysostom says, just as Eve came out of the side of Christ and became his bride, so the church, the Catholic church, comes out of the side of Christ, born from the waters of baptism, fed through the blood of Christ, and loved with the spousal love of Christ. We are the church that was founded out of the pure side of Christ. And Jesus loves us as a spouse loves, as a husband loves his wife. Did you know that that's how much Jesus loves you? He loves you so much that he would sacrifice his life on the cross. Water and blood would flow from his side for us to be washed in the waters of baptism and the Eucharist is given so that we might have life. In el bien santo, agua y sangre salieron del costado de Cristo como salió Eva del costado de Cristo. Y nosotros, la iglesia de Cristo, salimos también de su costado y Jesús nos ama como Adán amó a su esposa Eva. Cristo ama a la iglesia con ese mismo amor. Finally, we come now to Easter Sunday. The Lamb of God is raised from the dead. He's resurrected. Now, lambs don't typically resurrect from the dead, do they? Typically, once they're sacrificed, they remain dead. But this lamb resurrects because this is no ordinary lamb. This lamb is the Lamb of God. This lamb is the divine son of God. This lamb is the great I am. In the Old Testament, we heard that Moses raised up his staff and he stretched out his hands and opened up the Red Sea so that the Israelites could cross on dry land and arrive safely to the other side. And when Pharaoh's army tried to cross over to reach the Israelites, what happened to the sea? It crashed on top of them, right? In the New Testament, Jesus raises up the wood of the cross. He stretches out his hands on that cross. He opens the veil to eternal life so that we could cross over safely. And when the armies of Satan and the armies of sin and death try to cross through the Red Sea, the power of the resurrection and the waters of the resurrection come crashing down upon Satan. Satan has lost. Sin is done with. Death is no more. En el domingo de la resurrección, Jesús resucitó de entre los muertos para que nosotros también pudiéramos vivir en esta vida y en la vida futura. Los corderos normalmente cuando están sacrificados ya no resucitan, pero este cordero no es un cordero normal. Este es el cordero de Dios, el hijo de Dios. One day, all of us are going to have to face the sting of death. As the old saying goes, there are only two certainties in life, death and taxes. One day we will all have to face the sting of death. But because of the resurrection of Jesus, if we put our faith in him, if we put our trust in him, if we're washed through the waters of baptism and receive the body and blood in communion, we have life in this life and the life in the world to come. This is what Jesus did for us on Easter Sunday. Knowing that, how will we respond? Jesus said, I live for you. I died for you. I rose for you. What will you do for me? Will you live for me too? En este domingo de la resurrección, Jesús nos dice, 
Yo viví por ti. Yo morí por ti. Y resucité de entre los muertos por ti. Ahora, ¿cómo vas a responder? ¿Vas a seguir igual? Ahora vas a vivir por mí. Vas a dedicar tu vida por mí. In the Sunday of the Resurrection, may we dedicate our lives wholly and completely to our Lord Jesus Christ. Dediquemos nuestras vidas a nuestro Señor Jesús. Amén. 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 I invite those whom Bishop Kevin elected for the Easter sacraments yeah. to come yeah. along yeah. with yeah. their godparents to stand. Dearly beloved, with one heart and one soul, let us by our prayers come to the aid of our brothers and sisters in their blessed hope, so that as they approach the font of rebirth, the Almighty Father may bestow on them all His merciful help. Please, everyone, please kneel.
Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, be present by the mysteries of your great love and send forth the spirit of adoption to create the new peoples brought to birth for you in the font of baptism so that what is to be carried out by our humble service may be brought to fulfillment by your mighty power through Christ our Lord. Please be seated. O oh God, who by invisible power accomplish a wondrous effect to sacramental signs, and who in many ways have prepared water your creation to show forth the grace of baptism. O oh God, whose spirit in the first moments of the world's creation hovered over the waters so that the very substance of water would even then take to itself the power to sanctify. Señor Dios nuestro, Tú que al derramar las aguas torrenciales del diluvio has dispuesto que en un mismo elemento como en el agua diera nacimiento a los hombres, eliminando el pecado, así también has dispuesto que dé comienzo a la virtud. Señor Dios nuestro, que hiciste pasar a pie en, jun en, en junto por el mar rojo, a los hijos de Abraham, a fin de que el pueblo liberado de la esclavitud del faraón constituya el pueblo nuevo de los bautizados. O oh God, whose son baptized by John in the waters of the Jordan was anointed with the Holy Spirit, and as he hung upon the cross, gave forth water from his side along with the blood, and after his resurrection commanded his disciples Go forth, teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Look now, we pray, upon the face of your church and graciously unseal for her the fountain of baptism. May this water receive by the Holy Spirit the grace of your only begotten Son, so that human nature created in your image and washed clean through the sacrament of baptism from all the squalor of the life of old may be found worthy to rise to the life of newborn children 
through water and the Holy Spirit. May the power of the Holy Spirit, O Lord, we pray, come down through your Son into the fullness of this font, so that all who have been buried with Christ by baptism into death may rise again to life with him who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Please stand. My dear elect, before you are baptized and confirmed, I ask you to reject sin in the presence of God's church. And everyone here gathered I invite you to join our elect and renew your baptismal promises. The response, if you agree, is I do. Do you renounce sin so as to live in the freedom of the children of God? I do. We need a more convincing answer. There are about 500 of us here. <laughs> do you renounce sin so as to live in the freedom of the children of God? I do. Do you renounce the lure of evil so that sin may have no mastery over you? I do. Do you renounce Satan, the author and prince of sin? I do. And now we pronounce our faith. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death, and was buried rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I do. And may Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us new birth by water in the Holy Spirit, and bestowed on us forgiveness of our sins, keep us by His grace in Christ Jesus our Lord for eternal life. Amen. So please extinguish your candles and you may be seated. Is it your will that you be baptized in the faith that we have no. just professed no. with you? No. Leave him on, please. You know, Evaristo, I baptize please. you. Okay. In the name of the Father. You should not turn them off. That's okay. 
and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Carmela, is it your will that you be baptized in the faith that you have just professed with you? Carmela, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Francis, is it your will that you be baptized in the faith that you have just professed with you? Yes. Francis, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Jonathan, is it your will that you be baptized in the faith that we have just professed with you? Jonathan, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Kevin, is it your will that you be baptized in the faith that we have just professed with you? Yes. Kevin, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Axel, is it your will that you be baptized in the faith that you have just professed with you? Yes. Axel, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Tyler, is it your will that you be baptized in the faith that you have just professed with you? Yes. Tyler, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Gayo, is it your will that you be baptized in the faith that you have just professed with you? Gayo, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You guys are changed. You can come out to the altar area. Isaiah, is it your will that you be baptized in the faith that you have just professed with you? I say I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>
hard to see here. They should be right here.
You have become a new creation and have clothed yourselves in Christ. See, in the white garment that you wear, the outward sign of your Christian dignity, with your family and friends to help you by word and example, bring that dignity unstained into the everlasting life of heaven. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Receive the light of Christ. 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 This light is entrusted to you to be kept burning brightly. You have been enlightened by Christ you are to walk always as children of the light. May you keep the flame of faith alive in your hearts. When the Lord comes, may you go out to meet him with all the saints in the heavenly kingdom. Amen. Give them now a round of applause. With us this evening, we also have people who are already baptized, who are joining in the full initiation through the sacraments of confirmation and Eucharist. I now invite our candidates to come forward with their sponsors. You can leave your hand. My dear newly baptized, born again in Christ by baptism, you have become members of Christ and of his priestly people. Now you are to share in the outpouring of the Holy Spirit among us, the Spirit sent by the Lord upon his apostles at Pentecost and gladly given by them and their successors to the baptized. The promised strength of the Holy Spirit, which you are to receive, will make you more like Christ and help you 
to be witnesses to his suffering, death, and resurrection. It will strengthen you to be active members of the church and to build up the body of Christ in faith and love. And now, dear friends, all of us gathered here, let us pray to God our Father that he will pour out the Holy Spirit on these newly baptized and those who are to receive the sacrament to strengthen them with his gifts and anoint them to be more like Christ, the Son of God. All-powerful God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, by the water and the Holy Spirit, you freed your sons and daughters from sin and gave them new life. Send your Holy Spirit upon them to be their helper and guide. Give them the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of right judgment and courage, the spirit of knowledge and reverence. Fill them with the spirit of wonder and awe in your presence. We ask this through Christ our Lord.
Please stand. The pair, por favor. As death and darkness become life and light, in the echo of the story and the splash of water, we pray with the confidence of believers. Por la Iglesia de Cristo, por todos los que viven la Eucaristía plenamente, oremos al Señor. Te rogamos. For all countries and regions, for peacemakers throughout the world, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Por los que serán bautizados en esta noche santa, por los bautizados que escuchan el llamado a ser peregrinos y apóstoles, oremos. Pero vamos, Señor. For those gathered here whom bear, bear the burden of the loss of tragedy, for those who are sick, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. We lift up to the Lord the intentions and petitions we hold in our hearts for our families and our loved ones. We pray for the intentions for whom this Mass is offered, the SDC parish family, clergy, and staff. We lift up also the special intentions we have received in thanksgiving for the SDC ministries, Kathy Halstead, Linda Fronta, Regina Mughal, and for those who are in need of strength and healing, Irene Morris, Roberto Martinez, Silverio and Frederick Castro, Ana Cecilia Restrepo, Brad and Kimberly Gabriel, Harmon Family, Julian Alvarado, Roger Inson Jr., Benildo Loyola, Linda Dizon, Tess Bowak, Jovi Krukai, Seth Dakis, Evelyn Dinglasan, and Nicole Pahar, John Denny, and Jose Marie Veloso. We pray to the Lord. Amen. And for the repose of our dearly departed Joaquin and Angelita Dichoeya, Manuel and Anita Rivera, Joe Rivera, Joyce Gunneman, Lorraine Gonzalez, Aleta Domingo, Maria de Jesus Flores, Pablo Figueroa, Juana Gadarama, Carmen Tabaquero, Warren Morris, Lydia Inson, and Nelly Gonza. And for the prayers we have placed in the Ark of Prayer chest, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our Almighty and ever everlasting God, your word vanquished death forever. By the power of your Holy Spirit, we lift our prayers to you in the name of the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Sentence, por favor.
praise, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all this holy church. Accept, we ask, O Lord, the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings, that what has begun in the Paschal Mysteries may by the working of your power bring us to the healing of eternity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition to Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer to you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the world, together with your servant Francis, our Pope, Kevin, our Bishop, Timothy, Thomas, and Todd, his brother bishops, and all those who, holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants. and all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, the mother of our God and our Lord Jesus Christ, and the blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmas and Damien, and all your saints, we ask that through their merits and prayers, and in all things, we may be defended by your protecting help. Celebrating the most sacred night of the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ in the flesh, and in communion, with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious Virgin Mary, Mother of God and our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, O Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family. Order our days in your peace and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Therefore, O Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family, which we make to you, also for those whom you have been pleased to give a new birth of water and the Holy Spirit, granting them forgiveness of all their sins, order our days in your peace, and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, 
he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took his precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ, your Son, our Lord, we, your servants, and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance and to accept them as you once were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the Just, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel, to your altar on high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who those sinners hoping your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias Barnabas, Ignatius Alexander, Marcellinus Peter, Felicity Perpetua, Agatha Lucy, Agnes Cecilia Anastasia, and all your saints, admit us we beseech you into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
through whom you continue to make all these good things. So, Lord, you sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, and thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. 
Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. For our sisters and brothers who are worshiping and praying with us, and for those among us who are unable to receive our Lord Jesus in Holy Communion, we pray, God, my Creator, you made me all that I am and gave me all that I have. My Jesus, Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. I'd like to call on those who are to receive First Communion to be first in line. The rest, please be seated or remain kneeling and are ushers or hospitality ministers will call upon you after our first communicants have received theirs.
Thank you.
Let us pray. Pour out on us, O Lord, the spirit of your love, and in your kindness make those you have nourished by this Paschal Sacrament one in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. Before we do the, we'd like to invite those who are celebrating their wedding anniversaries on the month of April to please come forward so that you may be blessed. Are there any who are celebrating their marriage on the month of April? Some of them are just shy. <laughs> so let's raise our right hands. We praise you, O God. We bless you, creator of all things, who in the beginning made man and woman, that they might form a communion of life and love. We also give you thanks for graciously blessing the family life of these, your servants, so it might present an image of Christ's union with the church, Therefore, look with kindness upon them today, and as you have sustained their communion and rejoice and struggles, renew their marriage covenant each day. Increase their charity and strengthen in them the bond of peace, so that they may forever enjoy your blessing through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let's give them a round of applause. Congratulate them. And you may show your affection to each other with a kiss. There you go. All right. So before we say our prayers to our Blessed Mother Mary and St. And, uh, Saint Michael, so there was a prayer that I missed that was the choir wasn't able to sing Hosanna in my mind, uh, senior citizen, 57. <laughs> I thought we sang already Hosanna <laughs> during the homily. But Father Martin pointed it out to me. And uh, I've been praying to God. It is on me. It is not yours. Um, I think the grace and blessing of God is with you, especially during this Easter, and that He is merciful and kind. So let's pray now to our loving Mother in Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. And may God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, cast unto hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The Lord be with you. Bow down for the blessing. For the threefold blessing, we will all pray, amen. May Almighty God bless you through today's Easter solemnity and in his compassion defend you from every assault of sin. Amen. amen. May he who restores you to eternal life in the resurrection of his only begotten endow you with the price of immortality. Amen. amen. And now that the days of the Lord's Passion have drawn to a close, may you celebrate the gladness of the Paschal Feast, come with Christ's help, and exalting in spirit to those feasts that are celebrated in eternal joy. Amen. Amen. And may Almighty God bless all of you and your loved ones, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God, alleluia, alleluia. Happy Easter!